another episode of the Blender Bus Special. My name is Bob, and with me the illustrious Nate. How's it going? And uh, we'd like to present you a special uh, recording today. Uh, we had another story from our good friend Jose, who came, recently came back from uh, uh, Argentina, studying the <laughs> Patagonian titmouse, and uh, he was <laughs> delighting us with uh, one of his stories for October for... Uh, uh, I guess our, you know, we, usually on October we like to do ghost stories, and uh, we kind of pulled this from the archives because it hadn't been released. So it was a real treat for you. Is uh, uh, I hope it's a treat for you as it is for me or Nate. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and uh, well, this is just an intro because we never did an intro of the original show. Yeah, he kind of we we kind of did the show, and then he's like, "Oh man, I forgot to talk about this." And I was like, "Oh, let's just do a recording real quick, and then we'll just add to it later." So yeah, and this that's... is us, this is us adding to it. So, yeah. uh, go ahead, Nate, roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are recording right now. All right, the uh, uh, my name's Bob. This is Nate. Yeah, what's up? And our of course our friend Jose, and uh, this is. Uh, Jose had another story, so we're going to have to introduce this later. I guess we'll just cut it up as, as needed, Jose. <laughs> okay, right. take it away, Jose. So this story that I'm about to begin is the one story that I can really, really say that really had me questioning things. The first one that I gave was kind of like, oh, okay, I might be a dumbass kind of thing. You know, I might, <laughs> I might be super over cynical. This second one is the one that I'm just like, oh, fuck. So there is a possibility for paranormal activity. Like, it's like, this might be actual something. Mm -hmm. So it's New Year's, and I'm a think I'm a senior, and we go over my friend Becky's house. And we all drink in or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So New Year's happens, and then all of a sudden, everyone just magically just passes out. And my friend TJ, he decides to go to another party. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to go to a party. I was like, I'll just hang out here. I don't want to go out of town. So I laid there, and I was like, I, I guess I'll hang out, you know. But I was still wired up. I'm like, I still want to party. It was like not even like 1230, you know, and everyone's just whatever, passing out. Lame. Lame. Yeah. <laughs> well, we started early. I have to say we started like at 6, so we've just been going on for a while. But anyways, I'm sitting there watching black and white uh, uh, Three Stooges videos. And I remember the the volume wasn't really that high. And I'm just sitting there, and and I'm sitting on the couch, and the guys are, are sleeping. And and uh, I thought it was really weird because Becky ended up sleeping upstairs. Well, her room is, is downstairs. You go through the kitchen, it's downstairs. I was wondering, well, why didn't she sleep there you know she has her own room why does she have to sleep upstairs so I, I was like okay maybe maybe that's just what she wants to do I don't know so she goes up there and, and uh, a couple other girls go up there too and um, so I'm sitting there watching TV and I, I I'm sitting on the couch and to my back my back wall uh, that's it it's just the back wall and there's there's nothing behind but I kept hearing murmuring and I'm just thinking oh okay it's the it's the next door is like next door neighbors. I guess they are they're still going. So you hear murmuring. You hear like 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 just like 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 you can kind of hear them, but you can't like like what like, like their talking mouth is muffled or like, something like that or like people talking. You know, yeah. like like if you're half asleep and no, people are okay, okay. Yeah, yeah yeah. So I keep hearing like like you know people talking outside the door kind of thing. And then uh, I get a little tired and I start to kind of drift off and I'm thinking okay. Like, I'm going to go to sleep, and I can't go to sleep because these murmurings are getting louder and louder. I'm like, what the hell? Like, by now it's 3 o'clock. I've been watching Three Stooges for, like, two hours. So I get up, and I start tightening up and start washing dishes, and I go to the sink, and I was I was drunk, okay? So I go to the sink, but I'm I'm drunk, but I'm, I'm sobering up. You know that, that feeling like you're like, oh, fuck, I'm sobering up, and mm. there's nothing to drink, so... I start cleaning. I'm like, well, fuck. So I go, I take the dishes, and I put them in the sink, and I put them in the sink, and I, I look out. She has a really small, she had a really small window. Mm -hmm. And I look out the window, and I imagine an old woman in a robe just right outside the the window, like, just looking at me. And I look down, and I'm like, oh, I didn't see anything. I'm fucking drunk, you know? 
it's like classic fucking just you know just you think you saw something but you yeah. didn't and i'm just like fuck this i'm not washing dishes <laughs> like fuck this fuck these my, dishes my mind's playing tricks on me so so i'm thinking okay i'm stupid whatever i'm just imagining things i'm just being uh creative in imagining things i'm tired i turn off the tv and i still hear these fucking murmurings and i can't go to sleep and i just remember eventually going off to sleep Thinking, man, these fucking assholes. How long are they going to party? Like, it's fucking 3, 4 o'clock in the morning now. Mm-hmm. So we w- we wake up in the morning. The first thing I think, tacos, right? I'm like, oh, man, you guys want to go get some breakfast? And and everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we can go get some breakfast, man. And she had this little Winnie the Pooh doll that was on the coffee table. The really small one, the mm-hmm. one that you push. Yeah, yeah. And so we were there, and we're just talking. We're trying to figure out, like, what we want to eat. And then the Winnie the Pooh doll goes, hug me, right? And we're just like, what the fuck? We start laughing. We're like, what the fuck is this, right? And we grab the Winnie the Pooh doll. And we're just like playing around with it. And we're just passing it around. And we're just like, no, serious, serious. Like, let's think about it. And I even remember taking the Winnie the Pooh doll away from one of the guys. And like, no, let's really think about it. And put it back on the, on the uh, coffee table. And he goes, hug me. So I'm thinking, okay, it's a delayed reaction. Like, mm-hmm. maybe the, the thing, it's getting stuck, and it says, hug me afterwards. Well, we take it, and his friend's like, yeah, something's messed up. And he tries to push it, and it's not working all of a sudden. He's like, oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Oh, I guess it's broken. You know, we're like, oh, yeah, you fucking broke it. And we're like, oh, we're going to have to buy one for Becky. We're making jokes. Yeah. He puts it back on the table. And we're like, okay, well, let's get a pen and paper and we can leave her a note. Because we can't leave her like that, right? Yeah. So um, we go and right when we get the, the 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 paper and pen, like, he goes, hug me again. And we're just like, what the fuck? So we're all laughing and we're like, oh, okay. We're like, hey, hey, Becky, your house is haunted. Uh, we left. <laughs> but we're being jerks about it. So, yeah. so we leave. And then uh, we go eat or whatever. And later on, it's probably like around 7 o'clock. She calls me and she goes, hey, man, can I talk to you? I'm like, "Uh, fuck, man. We fucking broke the Winnie the Pooh doll. Like, I'm thinking, right? Or I'm thinking, did I break a dish? Like, I'm fucked. We fucked up. So she comes, picks me up. She's like, no, I have to talk to you in person. I was like, what? So we get into the, I get into her car. We start driving around town. And she goes, hey, so... She has the note in her hand, and she looks, like, concerned, and she goes, did you write this? And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 it's just a joke, you know? She's like, no, 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 tell me what happened. And so I tell her the story, just like I told you guys. Mm -hmm. And she just puts her her hand in her her mouth. She's like, oh, my God. I'm like, why, why? She starts kind of, like, that nervous giggle, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, why, why, what's going on? And she's like, Okay, so I got to tell you a story. She's like, first of all, do you know why I don't sleep in my room? I'm like, no. She's like, okay, do you remember going to use the bathroom? And I was like, yeah. And I remember walking to her bathroom. Like, you walked into her room and her... I remember seeing her room was just makeshift. There was just Mm -hmm. clothes everywhere. Her bed was just like on the side. And then she had this long mirror, you know, those, those typical long mirrors that people have. Mm-hmm. And it was cracked. And then you, you go through that and then you go to the bathroom for her house. And I, I remember feeling creeped out because it was kind of dark or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I hurried up and, and got to get the fuck out of there, right? But I didn't think it was haunted. I just thought, oh, that's weird. Why, it's, why is that cracked? I thought, oh, okay, maybe, maybe she got mad one day and, you know, bumped into it and got mm-hmm. cracked or something. She goes, no. One day, I was in my room, and I was going to sleep, and uh, I felt something like like a presence. Mm -hmm. And I opened my eyes, and I saw this old woman with a a huge grin over my face. And I screamed, and when I screamed, the mirror broke. And I ran up, and I went upstairs with my mom. So she's been sleeping upstairs with her mom ever since. In fact, she has a closet. She had a closet up there where she actually had, you know, her bed. She bought an inflatable mattress. Mm-hmm. So she would sleep yeah. there. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. And then 
uh, she was like, yeah. And then I told her, oh, fuck, I thought I saw this old lady. And she was like, okay. And I described it. I was like, it was like a pink robe with pink fluffy s- uh, slippers. She goes, oh, my fucking God. Like She's like, wow. So she's getting crazy. And I'm just like, well, she's fucking playing with me. Like, what mm-hmm. the, you know, she's just fucking playing with me. And um, so I'm just trying to figure her out. Like, I'm trying to see, like, if she's fucking with me or what the fuck's going on. And she's like, well, why did you, why did, uh, no, no, no. I had already told the, the poo story. And um, so, yeah, okay. We're bonding on that. And then we're talking about, she's like, well, after that happened, my mom wanted to know more about the house. Mm-hmm. So there's like this really, really small uh, Colonial Beach Museum. This is the town we used to live in. Mm-hmm. And she, they said that her mom would, went over there and she would like find out, try to figure out records and who lived there. And what they found out was that people normally would rent out the house, but they would only sit there for about six months at a time and they would just break their lease and leave. And mm-hmm. nobody knew why. The weird thing about that is that when we first moved to Colonial Beach, I lived right across the street, and I've forgotten that. And we lived there like maybe six months. And within those six months, we saw people move in and people move out. Yeah. And there was always a for rent sign on that window since I could remember. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, man, that's crazy. So people have been moving in and moving out from that door. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Like, they can't keep any tenants. And we spoke to the owners. Like, it was really cheap. The rent was really cheap. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, they go to this museum, and um, she was like, yeah, I live in this house, and we just want to know more information. She's like, oh, well, that, that house was actually one of, the, one, of, one of the houses that was built, you know, historically has historic value or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we actually have the picture of the people that used to live there in the 1930s or 40s or something like that. And they showed the picture, and it was a man in plaid, and it had the woman. Mm-hmm. And Becky saw that and freaked the fuck out. And this was after that she had seen the vision. I'm like, fuck, yeah. there's a picture of the fucking woman? Like, that's insane. She goes, yeah. It became such a norm for them that they would just deal with it. And they said yeah. that they would be eating dinner. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Jose, we'd be eating dinner. And all of a sudden, we hear, like, like murmuring sounds. I'm like, oh, fuck. She's like, we hear like, like you, can, you can't make out the words and they get louder, louder, louder. And my mom will just be like, stop, stop. You're, you're frightening Becky. And they'll stop. Hmm. And I was like, well, that's weird because I heard the same thing, but I thought it was your neighbors. Mm-hmm. She goes, no, I don't have any neighbors. I was like, yeah, there's a house like right, right beside your house. There's a house there. Mm-hmm. She goes, no. She drives me to her house. And we kind of slow drive, and we pass by her house, and then on the wall where I'd be, my back would be sitting to, mm-hmm. there's a there's a vacant lot. <laughs> and there's That's fucking nuts. And there's another uh, house, and cold chills went down my spine. I was like, "Fuck!" So all that night, I was the one listening to those fucking murmurs. Wow, nobody else heard it. No, well, they were all passed out. No, that's but like what, nobody yeah. else that visits the house hears that. Oh that yeah, that's, that's why. Oh, yeah. That's why they get the fuck out of there. <laughs> no, but like people visiting them. Kind oh, of stuff. oh, oh, oh. Well, not, not renters, you know. Well, that's the weird thing. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I never asked her about that, mm-hmm. but they moved out shortly after that for sure. But when I told her that, that kind of took the freak out level to the next level yeah. because of the Winnie the Pooh doll. Yeah, because that she said that. That's not the first time it's ever happened. And that doll, it's not hers. She used to babysit. It used to be uh, the little girls. Mm-hmm. And never had any issues like that at her house. Mm-hmm. You know? So that was, like, the one for me that was kind of like, fuck. Like, that was just... I, 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 nothing compares to, to yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah, blew your mind kind of shit. Wow. That's, yeah. Uh. And then this last one, this, is, this will be the final one. My mom freaked me out my mom does not like scary movies my mom does not like talking about she doesn't like growing up she wouldn't even let us wear bones like if she saw like a skull in our in our in our clothes she'd be like you can't have that like she's the type of person that just doesn't want to have anything to do with that 
So when she was little, she, uh, they lived kind of like in a kind of uh, outside outside town. It was kind of like a and not quite the country, but yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And more rural, I guess. Like, very yeah. rural, like pueblito, Mexico. It's yeah. like Mexico, pueblito. Like mm. they didn't have running water. It was like they had to go get water miles and miles to get water. El rancho, <laughs> yeah, el rancho. Yeah. And uh, they didn't have beds. They slept on the floor with them. Petate. And um, so despite that, though, like she lives humble means. But um, and this is a whole other thing, lineage going on. My grandma was born onto a wealthy family. And her father had promised her a lot of money. She was like the favorite mm-hmm. and put her in the will. And long story short, her real mother had died or something. No, 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 no. Her, her, her father died. Mm-hmm. And um, her mother inherited everything, of course. But um, when her mother died, they didn't give her a single penny to mm-hmm. my grandma. A whole bunch of fiasco. Yeah. Um, but whatever. Anyways, when my when my uh, when my grandma was uh, had my my uh, my mom. My mom must have been like six. The weird thing about uh, my grandma's mom is that despite the fact that she was really ugly towards her when it comes to money, mm-hmm. she would ask a lot of her. And one of the things that she would ask of her was my mom to go spend the night over her house. Hmm. I thought, okay, whatever, mom. But she's like, she goes, no, 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 no. She used to ask me to go over there, and I knew that she was doing some sort of witchcraft stuff. Mm -hmm. She never knew what it was, but she knew that she was always doing something weird. Mm -hmm. Well, my mom says that she thinks that she was trying to steal her youth. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Because she would beg um, she would beg my grandma to have my mom spend the night over there. My, my mm-hmm. mom wouldn't like to do it. Because when she would go over there, she said she couldn't sleep. She said she had trouble sleeping. Mm-hmm. So they would go and they would go start to go to bed. But that, she, that uh, her grandma wouldn't go to bed. Her, her grandma would wait for my mom to go to bed. Like, she would, like, make sure that she goes to bed. Mm -hmm. And she would make her, like, drink stuff, I guess, to to sedate her, maybe. Yeah. And she would, like, like, look at somebody. Have you ever, like, tried to go to sleep and someone's, like, staring at you? Mm. Well, it's creepy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just the thought of someone staring at you while you're you're going to sleep. So this is happening to my mom, and my mom's like, what the fuck? So what she started doing is spitting that shit out. She wouldn't drink it. She'd get it, held it in her mouth, and somehow figured out how to spit it out and she would pretend that she's sleeping Mm -hmm. to see what the hell she's doing well one night she feels her she feels her grandma get up from the bed Mm -hmm. and uh she feels like she she like she like tugged at her at her um hair Mm -hmm. and you know god it's just so crazy that i say that but (laughs) But this is the crazy part that got me is that she she kind of opened her eyes and she was looking she was looking towards the wall and that's where like my grandma had like a mirror she had like a chair and everything and then my grandma I mean, not my grandma her grandma mm-hmm. was looking at her through the mirror combing her long gray hair like her grandmother was in the in the mirror kind of deal. No, 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 no. She's like she's sitting, looking oh, at. Oh, seeing her in the mirror. Yeah, sitting in her room. Yeah, yeah. She's Ooh. sitting in the room, the back towards my mom. She's staring at my mom, but through the mirror. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. And she's just combing her hair with like this this really creeped out fucking look. Mm. And my mom remembers saying "fuck this" and just gets off the bed and just leaves and never went back. Oh wow! Yeah. Never went back. That's crazy. That's yeah. So, so that's just that's just the that's just the beginning of that. So, yeah. my mom has this recurring dream where she's waking up in that bed mm-hmm. and she's combing her hair. 
she'll have this nightmare from time to time. Oh, that her grandma's sitting there combing her hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like that, just looking back. And oh, the hair creepy. sometimes is jet black, and sometimes it's graying. You know what I mean? Uh, is your is your mom's hair jet black? No, no. Yeah, my mom's hair is jet black. Oh, okay. But her grandma's hair will be jet black sometimes. Yeah. Or, and sometimes it'll be, like, gray. She says that on one occasion, um, she looked really, really old. Yeah. And she was doing that, and she looked pissed. And then a man walked in. And when he walks in, everything kind of dissipates, and all of a sudden, she's in her room in Crockett. And the man is there, and my mom's in her bed, and this man is elegant. And he's just he has his hair combed back, really nice, pristine suit. He looks like a city man, right? Mm-hmm. And he holds up his, his hand, holds out his hand, he says, Come with me. <laughs> I'm like, fuck no. You know, come with me. And then my mom says, No. He's like, Come with me. My mom's like, No. And he's like, Come on, come on, come with me. And she's like, No, yo no, yo no me voy a ir contigo, yo no me voy a ir contigo. And my mom's like, Keeps, keeps telling him, and he gets, keeps, get, and then he starts getting angry. Yeah. And he's like, Come with me, you know? And then he starts to, like, seduce her. Like, he starts promising gifts and starts yeah. promising, like, like a better future, and he's like, I can do this for you, and I can do this for you, and all this stuff. <laughs> and she's like, no, no. And then finally, she tells him to leave, but he won't leave, you know. And um, my mom, the way she tells the stories in Spanish, she, and she says that um, he knows that she can't, that she knows that he can't harm her. Mm-hmm. He goes, because that's in the Bible, right? The devil can't touch you, he can't physically harm you. Yeah. So he's like, él no me puede tocar. Yo sé que no me puede tocar. But what pisses him off is that she starts reciting uh, words from the Bible. Mm. And that fucking pisses the fuck out of him. <laughs> and he says that when that happens, she, he tells her to shut up. Like He's like, yeah, cállate, cállate, mm-hmm. cállate. No digas esas maldiciones, cállate. He like said, don't, don't, don't use those freaking horrible words or whatever, right? Yeah. And and she just does even more, and she's praying, and she's, like, praying. And what tends to happen is this guy all of a sudden, from this nice, beautiful, beautiful blue eyes, mm-hmm. beautiful, elegant man, like, fair skin, blonde hair, starts to morph. His nails begin to grow. His, uh, his skin begins to become, like, opaque mm. and dirty and grimy. And his hair becomes to begins to grow, and his earlobes begin 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 to sag, just like his nose begins to sag. Yeah, he becomes he starts to become this old, decrepit man, mm-hmm. and he's just ugly. And his nails are just they're not just growing, but they're also yellowish. You know that yellowish, disgusting yeah. nails, and his teeth start to be all yellow and shit. And he's just he's angry. He's angry with her. He's like, oh, don't stop talking, stop talking. And he just keeps going, keeps going until all of a sudden he's gone. Wow. Hmm. How, yeah. often, how often does she have that dream? Every so often kind of? Like, like at least like once or twice a year, man. Oh, okay. It's just really okay. random. Really random. And she thinks that has something to do with her grandmother? Yeah. She thinks that wow. she, what she thinks, man, she'll get start talking with my aunts about it. And what she thinks is that um, that her grandmother did a deal with the devil because she wanted to live forever yeah, or something like that. That's what she believes. And she also believes that um, she hid money somewhere in the well, in mm-hmm. the rancho, to keep from everybody because she thought she could live forever and she could go back and get that money. Yeah, And she thinks that that money is haunted because she, uh, she, she... She doesn't want anybody to have it still, despite the fact that she's a fucking ghost. Yeah. And what's weird about it is that my uh, aunts and my grandma will egg her on. My grandma will say, yo sé dónde está el dinero. I know where the the money is. I know exactly where it is. And they don't want to go. They say they don't want to go. And that's Mm -hmm. just, it's weird. And I, I, I do kind of believe it because, you know... My, My grandma's, grandma's traits yeah. mirrors it too. Yeah. 
my mom's, uh, my grandma, I have a, a, cause I stayed with them for about six months. I have a feeling that she hides money in walls Mm -hmm. and I kind of feel like that's what, you know, her mom would have done too, you know, only in in different wells and stuff like that. I don't, I don't think she does it for the same purpose, but you know, it has the same similar characteristics, you know? Well, that's also Um, usually like people that lived in the depression. Yeah. Something that they would do too. So, yeah. But uh, you know, it's also probably a learned kind of thing, you know, from, you know, your mom's grandmother and stuff, you know? Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's crazy. That is for nuts. Yeah. So, that's uh, <laughs> those are my crazy stories. Because uh, you told me one where it was uh, you were at your mom's. Oh, sorry, I was leaning. Yeah, back. nobody can fucking hear you. Fucking take it with you, man. Uh, Lean back and pull it with you. Because uh, you were. Uh, I remember you were telling me a story about how I want to say it was your grandma's house. Uh-huh. I want to say that, and um, I think you were watching TV and you look in a corner and it's a dude. Uh huh. And he said he it's it's like the same description he gave me like it was yeah. the, like the guy you know he was in a suit mm-hmm. but then you look in his hands and they were like fucked up hands yeah yeah they're like uh, you start looking at his hands and, and it's that those long nails and they're grimy and they, he's like yeah like initially you see him and he's this this really elegant guy and. And then you take a really good glance at him, and you start seeing it's like it's kind of like when you first go into an office building, like you're you're trying to get a job, right? You walk into the office building, and you're sold. You're like, oh wow, this looks really nice in mm-hmm. here. But then you start working, and after a month, you start seeing the little cracks. You start seeing how dirty it really is. You know, you start seeing like, oh fuck, that's that's rat poop, and uh, ooh, what's that? That's off white and. It's kind of the same thing. Mm. You're you're sitting there, and then you look over, and it's like, oh, oh, it's this elegant guy. What's he doing here? And then you look at, you start kind of looking down in his hands, and you start noticing, oh man, like her nail, his nails are a little long. Oh wait, his they're kind of yellowish and grimy. Kind of start seeing through the facade, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And fuck, man, that shit's just creepy. So yeah, of, of course I identify with it because I myself have experience things like that and it's weird for me to talk about it because i i don't want to believe it yeah you know i i'm a very single person i don't want to believe it and maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me because they always talk about it because man when they get together it's like oh yeah and this happened and Mm. that happened you know mexican household yeah so so yeah 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 i mean because i remember my grandpa was telling me about the the lechusa yeah, and uh, he was telling about like just like this, just crazy rules about like uh, you have to get a piece of rope and you have to tie a, yeah the seven knots for the, yeah, the yeah, seven yeah. truths uh, yeah, to yeah. this, and then you have to hit it, hit the you see the lechuza and you got to hit her with it until she turns it back into a woman, mm. and uh, just uh, just all kinds of weird stuff, just weird urban legend kind of stuff. Y- nah, well, I wouldn't even there there was no urban. It's. Oh. They're talking about this, like, said the ranchito. That's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, old, that's old stuff. Old stuff. Yeah. Or the fact that, like, I remember my cousin was telling me about how, I think uh, she was telling me about how this one girl, uh, there she was a bruja, and she actually had her grandfather's skull she would wear. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> just. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just crazy. Like, I couldn't give you, like, details of what it was, but the, the, I remember I was like, what like that's <laughs> that actually happens like oh, oh. It's like, well yeah of course like we're talking about <laughs> rural Mexico you know yeah and yeah. I and I I totally believe in that in in that you manifest whatever it is that you believe in that's mm-hmm. why you have so many different religions because you manifest it your your mind manifests these miracles per se in quotations right yeah. you manifest these. These karma, it's 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 all in your in your head. So of course, if you believe in it, it's it's going to be true. It's going to be validation, you know. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that happened to me, I had a dream that mirrored my mom's dream around the same time uh, that she first told me the dream because she has it a while. But I had a dream one time, and and this kind of f- fucked me up because I'm thinking like, oh fuck, like if it was the devil, then then he did come in my dreams like this. Mm-hmm. And the way that happened is um, I was sitting as a spectator in the dream, 
and this, there was this guy in a yellow suit, kind of like an old 60s with a bow tie and the pompadour, and he was singing, and he stopped, and I'll say no audience was there, and he pointed at me, and he goes, this could be yours. This could be yours. Come here, and I, and I stood up, and I walked down the auditorium, and they had like a, they had a whole woman horn section that was very like, dressed in like these really high boots and like mini skirts, like sixties, mm-hmm. and they're you know, first glance they're beautiful, and there's like this could be yours, and then there's a mariachi band. It was like my own variety show. Yeah. So you follow me, you take my hand. This could be yours. And I was like, whoa, no, this is weird. And then I start to really dissect what's going on here. And yeah, it looks awesome. That, you know, I have this band. I have these girls. I have guests. Like, it's a perfect variety show. Mexican, American combination. But then you really look at the girls and they just look like, like they're just, they, they really look like coked up girls. You know, they look like. He's haggard, strung haggard, out. strung out. You look over to uh, the the place becomes really s- just old and smoky, and it's just like the same thing that happened with the guy. You know, mm-hmm. he got all old and gray. Same thing. And I said, no, no, no. And I'm not, you know, really religious or anything, but something just scared the hell out of me, and I felt like like uh, like something was pulling me all of a sudden. It was like this this whirlpool, and I was being pulled into this darkness. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, you're going to come with me. You're going to come with me, right? And just being pulled, my head feels like I was being pulled. And I just remember, you know, reciting anything I could remember from catechism and just, <laughs> yeah. you know, just like going crazy with it. I'm like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And also I wake up, and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, you know, it could have been like I had too much sugar or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had a similar dream. Like, um, we went to New Mexico, Alamo Gordo, uh, to go see the whole E.T. thing. Um, if, yeah. If you want to ever get oh, a yeah, yeah. to me, I'm in that whole E.T. documentary yeah, thing. Yeah, you yeah. creeper in there yeah, trying like to get I in kinda, every fucking I wanted scene. to get into the scene so I can <laughs> lean into it. And uh, we uh, we stayed. Yeah, at the I did su- it a lot. Yeah, we, we, we stayed at the Super 8. And the Super 8 looked old. Like, it was not a new place. It was, like, it wasn't something they built. It was something they converted into a hotel. Yeah. And it, I want to say it was, like, almost like an old halfway house, or it was just, a like, an old, like, multi-residential building that they converted into a hotel. Yeah. So, it was just, like I said, it just, like, one long hallway with a bunch of doors. Like I said, I don't know if it was, like, an old nursing home, halfway house. I don't know what it was. And um, I just spent... 16 hours driving to, to Alamo Gordo yeah. from San Antonio. You're tired. Yeah, it's tired. And, you know, and I had like two hours of sleep. Uh, and had, we we left at 2 a.m. because we were trying to get there by 7. And uh, we go, and I'm, I'm having a hard time going to sleep. But then, I, you know, when I conk out, I just conk out. And my dream, I'm having a um, – I'm, I'm I'm with this girl, this beautiful, like, red-headed girl. And we're just kind of like, you know, like going walking around town or whatever. And then it was just darkness, and I heard like a like a voice. I can't remember what we what we talked about. I heard you know like a. I do remember the last question though that she asked me is like, "Do you want to see what I actually look like?" Oh fuck! And then I kind of, you know, you know, you, I forgot the thing. I I remember, like somebody like I, I remember sleeping on my stomach, and I felt something um, like massaging my back. Not not like massaging like. We're talking not like some like a stranger. It was like almost very very personal. It was like mm. like a girlfriend would like kind of rub yeah. on your back. Yeah, you know, like just someone. And like I said, I, I remember I woke up and then like I heard the voice and I heard the, I was talking to the voice. But like I said, that was the last question was, do you know what look look like? And I'm like, or wait a minute, where am I? This is this isn't real. And then then I, like I try to, you know, whenever you wake up for for me, whenever I wake up, it feels like I'm underwater uh-huh. and it feels like I'm like raising the surface. Yeah. And then I was just realized, wait, wait, now I'm what? There's no one here. It's just me in the hotel room. And then it's just I woke up, and then I look the hotel room, look over. It's Lou. Lou's crashed out, and it's just a what? What the hell was that? You know, just because because it was very like I remember like getting up and like this just like I said the like whatever was touching my back it was very like, yeah 
sensual, I guess you'd say. Mm-hmm. Just very personable. Like someone, like a girlfriend rubbing on your but back. that's the weirdest thing to say. Do you, you want to know, know what I look really look like? Yeah, and that's, I was like, that's, oh that's my creepy God. Fun, And I was like, man. no, what? Like, that, that the thing, that's what strapped me out. Like, why? Who are you? Who, yeah. who do you want? And then I, could, yeah. I felt like something kind of... Uh, like holding me down. Well, that's the thing. Like these, these things. Maybe they're not ghosts. They're some sort of entities or some it's shit. It's possibility. I, know, I mean, man. what I hate is uh, sometimes I'll have a dream. And I remember the first time I had it, it was I was in middle school, and uh, my bed was like in the corner of the room, kind of uh, adjacent from the door. So I mean, I see the door from there, and I remember I was awake, and it's like something moving towards me, and I try to move and, and yell, and I can't. Oh yeah, and it's just Eat like that feeling. Yeah, my my mouth is open and I'm screaming, but nothing's coming out. And yep. it's like it gets so close, and it's just like all of a sudden I wake up and just ah, and it's like you know trying to fucking like grasp what was going on. You know, it's like like high school. I used to have like zombie dreams. Those never bothered bothered me, but you know, a friend of mine he he always loved listening to them because they were kind of crazy. But what gets me is possession dreams. Yes, yeah, that I shit agree. fucks me up. And it's was that like a month or so ago. I had one, and oh. it was almost like it was, like, right out of a movie kind of shit. It's like, I can't remember, I think we're, like, messing with the uh, Ouija board or, you know, it's kind of like something like, hey, there's something in the house, and guy starts talking shit, and it's like, hey, you need to chill the fuck out with that shit, and the next thing you know, like, he starts fucking acting weird and shit, and it starts, like, jumping from person to person. It's like, Wah! you know, trying to, I'm not religious. I really don't know jack shit, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, things to, uh, uh Say phrases yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that. And I'm just trying to fucking think of shit. And just like, Dude, that's the first thing we gravitate to. Like, yeah. Actually, I remember I had a dream about vampires and then I started like speaking Latin to it. <laughs> I don't know Latin, <laughs> but they don't know I don't speak Latin. Yeah. So I was like, Domini is <laughs> uh, excommunicatus, like stuff from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rob Zombie. Yeah. I, I, it is not heresy, and I will not recant. I'm just saying that over and over again. Apparently, vampires hate, you know, Latin. So Yeah, apparently. That's all we know. I was all like, Feely, my bony belly, like the. From, uh, <laughs> Cheech and Chong. Your you know, bony the, belly? You know, it's like. For, <laughs> Fibiscus, feed me my bony belly. You know, it's 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 from Cheech and Chong from one of their. their They're coming to San Antonio, by the way. Yeah. Oh, are they really? Nice. Yeah. That's so, a good way. That's a good way to to end that on a, a good high note. note. <laughs> yeah. That's. But if you're gonna of, if yeah. you're gonna put something up, you should put this one up because I think this was. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll, try to like tag it onto the. We should have made that an hour like show. That. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's th- well, I mean, well, we could have done like, well, technically, this is kind of another one, so yeah, we yeah. can kind of like jam shit together or something. I don't cool. Know. You're always from surprise there, Josie. Well, thanks again. I know when you told me about this, I was like, man, I don't really have ghost stories. But then you start talking, you just, I remember like three, four, five separate ones. It's kind of like jogged your memory. Just I just like, remembered uh, one right now, yeah. It's just, I mean, I, I believe there's some sort of energy. Mm. I'll just leave it with this one. It's, it's not, it's just really, it's not really a scary story. I just, one day, random, I was, Lily just started living with me as my wife and, I woke up at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. I think I told you, didn't I? Mm -mm. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, random, and I was crying. I was just crying. And I was like, something's wrong, something's wrong. Someone told me to call my mom. I was like, something's wrong. I think something's wrong. I got to call my mom. I got to call my mom. Called my mom. I woke her up. I never call her at this rate, at this time. And she was like, hey, what's going on? What's going on, Miko? What's going on? And I'm like, mom, you're okay? You're okay? You're okay? I was like, I'm sorry. I just, I I felt a need to, to talk to you. You know, I felt like, Making sure you're okay, and she's like, "No, I'm okay. I'm all right. It's okay. All right. Okay. Okay." So I, I, I told Lily, I was like, "I don't know why I freaked out. I just, I don't know what's going on with me." I, I went to sleep. Around noon, my mom calls me and she says, "Um, she says, hey, so remember how you w- woke me up last night? So apparently, um, this woman, her name is Josefina. She died last night. She passed away." And I got cold chills. I was like, oh, wow. Josefina was like a mother to me. Um, I'm getting cold chills as I'm saying it. Um, she was <laughs> like a... chilly in here. <laughs> she, she, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> but she was like a mother to me. I, um, we used to live in a duplex. She was right... She, she lived right beside me. She used to babysit me. She grew up with me. She's a person that I knew since I was five years old. Mm-hmm. And she might as well have been my second mom. And just hearing that she passed away and me feeling that was just like, wow, like there is some sort of energy that that happens. She came and said goodbye to me or something. Mm. I felt the same way when my 
grandfather died, I had a dream that I was with my grandfather and he was a little boy and we were playing. And I knew he was my grandfather. Something innate me told me that it was his grandfather. I thought it was me coping with his death, but at that time I didn't know he died. Yeah. I didn't know that until my mom came home and she was mm-hmm. like, she came home from Mexico. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, your grandfather died. And I was like, yeah, I know. Oh, man, I had a one where uh, it's fucking nuts. a co-worker died. And we're talking about years ago. Yeah. Like, she died. Her name is Elaine. She was an old woman. She smoked a lot. And then she quit smoking. And apparently after apparently after one of those things where after you quit smoking after a couple of years, uh, you, you get really bra- bad uh, bronchial disease or COPD. Mm-hmm. And, uh, she, you know, she died. And, of course, she, it, she, had, she hadn't worked. And I hadn't thought about her for years. And uh, when I was living at, uh, with my buddy Lou, uh, I, I had this dream where she – everything was bl- – because I, no- I noticed this. This gr- dream was in gray, like tones of gray. Yeah. Like everything was gray. And uh, she she stood on top of over my bed, and she looked down at me, and uh, she was smiling, but not like the happy, like a very s- and sinister, creepy. creepy smile. And she, I remember the yellow eyes. Mm. Like, yeah. just, like just. That's like, the same yellow eyes that the creepy guy had. Yeah. Oh, and uh, that scares shit me. <laughs> And my uh, computer's on. Yeah, and I just remember I was just like, like, oh, oh, oh what the fuck, you know? Just and of course, uh, I don't know. And then I had a dream about my dad being like disappointed in me, but of course that might be something completely different. <laughs> yeah. I did have a dream about uh, seeing my my dachshund one last time. Oh wow! Uh, which uh, that, <laughs> that was nice of him. That was Goddamn weenie dog. <laughs> Goddamn weenie dog. <laughs> no, she was a weenie dog. Well, maybe it's just her brain, just you know, coping with it. It's the way it's adjusting yeah. to it. I don't know, but it's a possibility. It's kind of like people talk about. It's like. You know, why do ghosts only come out at night? Why are they in graveyards? That's not where they died. It's like, yeah, but this, that's where their body and where their things are, you know. And at night, I mean, if you really, you know, it's like, you know, oh, it's just your imagination and shit at night trying to extrapolate shit. And it's like, well, but you got to figure at night, people aren't moving around during the day. There's, There's not as much energy, you know. They're trying to maybe try to, like, you know, grab more, you know, kind of like the flashlight thing, yeah. you know. If fucking, you know, power, you know, things tend to lose power, you know, it's... It's it's kind of nuts. Um, well, uh, honestly, during the day, like it's kind of like uh, like like you just don't notice it. Like lumens. Like honestly, like uh, if you have a really shitty projector, you can't really see you in a really badly lit room. You know, you see you in a uh, well lit room. Oh when you yeah. Turn down the power, it's clear as day. That's true. Yeah. It know, might be something to that. Maybe effect, ghosts yeah. just have bad luminosity. <laughs> <laughs> well, like uh, a friend of batteries. mine, she introduced me to one of her neighbors and. I, w- I was talking, you know, with this chick, and apparently she does, um, uh, you-, you know, like the paranormal, like, shows? Yeah. Where they go out and stuff, and it's like, I think her and a buddy of hers, they do their own, and they've actually, like, you know, gotten together with some of the other groups and stuff, and, you know, she's like, she told me, she's like, I was like, you know, I was really interested. I was like, oh, that's kind of crazy. It's like, you know, my friends and I will go out sometimes, and she's like, I won't do anything around here, around San Antonio. I will not do it. Uh, and I think she said Texas too. And I was like, why is that? Is it because it's too close to home? She's like, yeah, because I don't want anything following me. And she's like, oh man. And she got really serious. She's like, you know, when I go to these places, it's like I have to make sure when I leave that I have to do it right because, you know, people go out and they'll go do this shit and then they disturb something or whatever and then whatever the fuck it is follows them. And she's like, I don't want that fucking shit. And it's like, no, I, I totally get that. That's, that's kind of fucking crazy and shit, you know. Which goes back to the, the first thing about the college is, like, maybe that's what they're disturbing something. And that's why shit that's why doesn't work. I mean, yeah, it's a possibility. I mean, who knows? I mean, it, it's kind of like those old uh, asylums and shit like that, you know, especially back in the, you know, 20s to 40s and shit. You know, Where what they, they did to some of those people. Yeah. You know, holes in people's heads. Torture, and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's the old asylum down uh, down south of here by the aqueducts and shit and apparently a lot of crazy shit would happen there but you can't go into it it's fenced off and apparently the SWAT team does training in there and shit uh, but that's actually right down the street from the from the railroad tracks yeah oh, literally yeah, right yeah, down the street yeah. from the railroad tracks which that's fucking weird as shit as it is it's well we'll talk about that later but yeah <laughs> I, I gotta go yeah alright all right. Oh, thank you for uh, joining the extra content of the Bundy Bush good job good job <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was awesome.